Good morning guys. Today in this video I'm gonna cook a meatloaf in the Dutch oven. Um, I don't think I have cooked a meatloaf since I have um, been on the road since I've sold my house and I was craving meatloaf. So this is going to be my mom's recipe and I will put that in the description below. I'm not sure where she got it. Um, I had it written down on a piece of paper. It's nothing special. Instead of bread crumbs, she used oatmeal. So that's what I'm going to use. Oatmeal, some onion, I'm going to put some bell pepper in it, and tomato sauce probably put a little ketchup on top but I am gonna cook it in the Dutch oven which I've never done so let's see how it turns out and if you watched any of my Dutch oven videos or cooking outside this is how I start my grill um, sometimes it tips over so this is the perfect height for doing this but I just use the little propane stove put my briquettes in here and when they get heated up I'm gonna transfer them to right here and this is just a barbecue pit and I'm gonna put the coals here that way I don't have to bend over <laughs> okay in this lodge a cast iron Dutch oven cooking 101 book it has the determine cooking temperatures so i'm using my 10 inch dutch oven which is right here i want 350 so i need 21 coals 14 on top and seven on the bottom all right so that's what i'm going to use thank you billy billy gave me this with strong's adventures hey thank you so much because now i don't burn my food <laughs> so i mentioned in a previous video that i am working on like a mess kit a portable kitchen whatever you want to call it um this is the start of it i have a lot more to add and i'll do a separate video but when i cook outdoors i end up going into my camper probably 15 times up and down those steps for something that i forgot so i'm building a cooking outdoor cooking system so I can keep everything in here and not have to run up and down um, the camper steps. So this is just the beginning of it. I still have a lot to add. I need to add spices. The birds are happy today. and um, But I am going to use it today because you got to use it to see what you need. So the only knife I have is this little bitty cleaver in that cute and here is my cutting board. Um, I don't think I'm going to need anything else out of here today. But then when I do dishes, I can just put it all back in here, put it back in the truck, and be ready to go. I have my tray right up here with all my ingredients. So I'm just going to move it and cut up the onions here. Okay, I've got the onions cut up. I'm not following the recipe totally because I don't have a pound and a half of meat, so I'm just going to eyeball it because the recipe calls for a pound and a half of hamburger meat. Um, it does not call for bell pepper, but I need to use this bell pepper up, so it's going in the... I love this little flavor. It is sharp. Going in the meatloaf. Be very careful. It's a sharp little knife. That looks good to me. And I can tell you, well, I've got my food cooking gloves. Can't stand to touch raw meat, <laughs> so 
I've always used cooking gloves in mixing, well, with cooking. Cooking for others, but cooking using meat. So, calls for oatmeal. I'm not gonna use all that right now. An egg. Okay, I keep knocking the camera off, so I'm gonna get this mixed up and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, the charcoal's ready, so I'm gonna come over here and put seven on the bottom. And then I'll put the cast iron or the Dutch oven on top. I've got the Dutch oven on the coals. I'm preheating it a little bit to melt the butter. And then I'm just gonna put the loaf, the meatloaf in there. All right, I got it mixed up pretty good. I just forgot to add the salt and pepper. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and then go put it in the pan. And I went ahead and used the whole three-quarter cup of oatmeal. It needed it to keep it held together. That's what it looks like. I kind of flattened it out just a little bit so it would um, cook faster instead of it being taller. So it can make it round, a round meatloaf. Y'all ever done that? I haven't. But anyway, let's put the coals on top and let it get cooking that I do not have a can opener in here. I had to go inside and get a can opener, but uh, plus I didn't have any spices, but that's what I'm going to add next when you can go to the store and get things. Um, so I'm going to add some spices to this and a can opener. It's been cooking about 45 minutes. I just turned it. Oh, it looks good. It's kind of falling apart. But that's okay. That means it's moist. Let that cook another 15 minutes. And then it's lunchtime. It looks wonderful. It really does. I get up and you get in my chair? Yeah. All right. The meatloaf is probably done. It's been an hour. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's not dry. It's definitely, um, when I take it out of the Dutch oven, it's going to fall apart, I can tell you that, but, um, which is okay. I'm going to put it on some bread. It's hot. Very good, though. I don't like dry meatloaf. Um, that's why I guess I've always liked this. This is my mother's recipe. And it is pretty moist. I'm going to go get some bread. And I'm going to have a meatloaf sandwich today for lunch. Y'all, thank you for watching. I love doing these cast iron cooking videos. 
just wish somebody was here to enjoy the meatloaf with me. <laughs> We're in isolation. Cheers. Deep in the heart